guys. We're the Ahaba family. My name's Macy. This is Christian. That's our baby girl, Nyla. And this is Bunny. For the past two years, we've been mobile wanderers, traveling the US on and off in whatever type of vehicle comes our way. But last year, we got the opportunity to build our own home on wheels. So before we share our adventures with you, we thought it'd be best to give you guys a tour of our new home. Check it out. Ready? Welcome to Nyla's area. As soon as you come in, you see our Haba sign, which we got custom made with our last name. And then we have her car seat, which is where she rides when we go on trips and whatever. And in her car seat, she basically goes to sleep as soon as we start riding, unless she's been in there for too long and we try not to do that. But um, right above it is storage for her clothes. At the bottom, we have more storage. We have a trash can and a recycle as well. Right here is our bathroom. If you look down bottom, very bottom below, there is a cat door. This is where Bunny goes to use the bathroom. There is inside of here a litter box underneath our Nature's Head composting toilet that comes out when we're not in there so she could just go in and out and use the bathroom. We don't have to worry about the smell. Everything would just be contained into this area. I'm not gonna say it's perfect, but it's a lot better than what could have been. Show you inside. Da -da -da -da. We have our Nature's Head composting toilet right here. We don't know how well it works yet fully. We've used number one mostly. I'm not gonna tell you what happened when we tried to not use number one, but yeah, we're still working out the kinks, so I can't really tell you much about this yet, but it's here. And right here we have our full length mirror. You can freshen up, try to look good, do your hair. All right guys, so welcome to the kitchen area. Right here we have our two burner stove. It's run off of propane. Everything else basically in the van is run off of the solar panels. We have two 200 watt solar panels, 400 for the whole van. So everything's run off of that except for this right here. Down here, we have our fridge. It's a very small fridge. Because it's so small, we basically have to go grocery shopping all the time. Daily, if not every other day. We also have two seven gallon water jugs in here. Here, we have our sink. So this sink is quartz and I like it a lot. At first I wanted a copper sink, but the black does really well. Um, this faucet right here, I really like it. It's just kind of, it doesn't fully extend, but it has two settings, but the shower like setting is waste more water and we don't have a lot of water to waste here. And then on the back wall, we have this really nice backsplash. Um, at first we had tile, but that didn't work out and it kept peeling, so we had to put wallpaper on. Here we have our soap dispenser that Christian kind of put to the wall. Here we have storage for our food in these two compartments. Um, in these drawers, we have our utensils, our bowls, everything's pretty much wooden. So, all of our drawers are on soft closed drawer slides. Under here we have these pull-out drawers. And there's two of them. 
right here see these knobs well handles we got these off of Amazon in bulk but just the plain black wasn't as much us as we wanted so we decided to put rope accents around all the handles and then from there we decided to put rope accents around the entire van um, in places that we just we didn't know what to do with like the doorway area there's like a big gap so we just put rope there and in the front section we put rope there as well it's van life and sometimes things mess up down here if you look at the rope accents on this storage door this is completely unraveling so I'm gonna have to fix that I'm gonna just try to tidy this up act like it's normal <laughs> and I'll fix that later and then you guys will never know how yeah I'll, I'll fix that oh one more thing I forgot to say because this is one of Christian's favorite parts I don't know how I almost forgot it but this table that we have right here how this just comes up gives extra counter space because obviously we only have a little bit right here and I learned last night from cooking that this by itself was not enough so this is very helpful actually and then it just use these clamps here hold them and it slides right back down also we have our light switches here this right here is for underneath the cabinets in the kitchen and then this one right here is for the lights right above us and then right here is our max air fan and that's pretty much it for our kitchen this is our closet so we share hanging space at the bottom is our bedroom area we also use this for an entertainment area and I know just all around lounge area um, the first thing you're probably looking at is Nyla this is her baby hammock so basically you just we just put her in here she's asleep right now but it bounces she's actually getting a little too heavy <laughs> if you didn't notice at the bottom her butt's almost hitting the bottom because she's getting bigger She's growing, and so because of that, we also have an area to hook this up in the front. She's going. It's working. She's going. It's working. So she could, you know, bounce a bit more. But when she's just chilling and relaxing and wants to go to sleep, we just put her in here, right here. As you can see, she goes to sleep when she's sleepy. If she's not sleepy she may not be having it. The next obvious thing is our couch, our futon. We've had this futon since before we had the van. This futon actually fits perfectly in this space and the bottom part pulls out completely and levels up and becomes a queen size bed. And this is just where we all sleep. area is also carpeted and raised 20 inches off the ground below this we have full storage this whole bottom area is just storage the back part is our garage and the front part there's an access door at the bottom where you can access more storage when we completely finished the van there was something that was missing so we actually came up with this idea to put pipes all around the van and we wrap vines around the sides and we put curtains in the back and I feel like it it helps the space a lot. It makes it feel a lot more homey for us. These are Christian's magnets and he has his family and some pictures of us. And here we have our fans. We have one here and one here. This is my fan. This is Christian's fan. Um. 
We also have storage here underneath the futon. This is just where we put our sheets and Nyla's bassinet that we use on the beach. And some books for my writing and everything. We also have a projector that goes right here. And we just chill here at nighttime and we watch some Netflix or HBO Go or whatever app we have, YouTube. Watch YouTube videos too. Yeah, that serves our entertainment sometimes. Also, running along the back part of the couch, we have LED lights. So all through here, there's LED lights and we have them lining the kitchen area all the way down to the floor as well. Also right here, we have our dream catcher. And that's a nice little accent. My grandmother gave me that dream catcher. And over here we have a, a flower pot-esque thing with nothing in it, literally nothing in it. But I will, I will put a plant in there one day and I will grow it from its roots and it will sprinkle down onto the couch and it will be beautiful. These curtains, they're blackout curtains, but they're white on the outside and they're black on this side and they also help with extra insulation with our door. And yeah, it's, it's, a, nice, it's a nice touch as well. We love it. <laughs> this rug is great and this platform is great and I don't see a lot of people with a raised platform like we have in the van, especially with a nice comfy carpet that you can rub your feet on whenever you want. Yeah, I mean, I love this van, and we, we built it with our bare hands, <laughs> but we love this space, and this is like a dream come true for us, so I'm gonna let Christian show you around the rest of it, because, because. <laughs> So welcome to the exterior of our van. This is the hard, masculine, rugged exterior. It's really a great contrast between the outside of the van with the red, rugged finish and the inside, white, airy feel. So the outside paint job is something that we get the most comments on in terms of our van. We painted the entire thing in truck bed liner and it gives it a nice textured, durable finish that prevents against scratches, dents, rust, which is really important when you have a large vehicle like this that's made out of solid metal. So up top, we put a deck. It's made out of 14 foot long two by fours. We attach them to three ladder racks. And we did that because we didn't want to screw our solar panels directly into the roof of the van. So instead we screwed them into our deck and in addition, we screwed something else into our deck, which is our basketball hoop. This van is equipped with a flip-up regulation 10-foot basketball hoop so that you can play wherever you want. And we're going to show you how that works. So first things first, we've got to get our rim out of our adventure gear storage. You got to get your rim. Along with the rim, you also need a basketball, so we carry one of those around as well. anywhere. So the logo, Bill Baltimore, is a nonprofit that I run in Baltimore that focuses on rebuilding rundown basketball courts in the Baltimore area. So we spray painted that logo on the backboard to try to bring awareness to every area that we may travel.
All right, guys, that's a wrap for us. More videos coming your way in the future. Hopefully you'll join us.